Hi, my name is Martin and I want to talk to you about how I use Alfred to speed up my workflow while working. And um, if you don't know Alfred, Alfred is a yeah a productivity app. It's um, yeah kind of like Spotlight in this case that you can launch applications uh, with simply uh, hitting your hotkey and then typing something like spl, which looks for sublime text and you can just open sublime text or um, do some other stuff so chrome or uh, many more and um, Alfred can do so much more than that and there are so many power user features I don't use but one uh, thing is very cool I use it a lot to just um, Google something and you can just type anything and hit return and search Google for this whatever I typed in there and what you can do is you can define custom searches and this is pretty cool because I often have to look up if I can use um, ah, there I said it a CSS property and then I go to caniuse.com and look it up or have to search in the Mozilla developer network or on webplatform.org and um, it's nice just to do it with for me command and spacebar and just type my, uh, my search command and hit enter and go to the website so how can you do that? Let's go to Preferences, Features, Web Search, and here are all the searches and the keywords you can use. For example, Twitter and my name. This is a pre installed uh, custom search. And that's fine, but I want, uh, you can see here. I have something that is disabled and um, let's say we want to build a custom search to search on can I use dot com it is I think can I can I use dot com great so now I'm looking for um, transform for example and now I can just copy the URL go to my preferences Alfred, add a custom search, search and input the search URL and the keyword um, you have to replace with, um, oh how are they called in English, brackets are these, right? <laughs> I'm not sure, the, um, the other, other brackets, <laughs> sorry. Um, then you can, can um, enter a title, for example, search for and query or search on can I use for and then the keyword, uh, the search word. The keyword, you can define whatever you like. I have can and then you can try it out, but let's just, ah, uh, you can define custom icons, which is pretty nice. And so let's search for HTML5 icon on Google Images um, or HTML5 logo. This is cool. Image. Let's save. Go back to Alfred and just. Oh. <laughs> this is tricky okay um, yeah and just drag and drop the image into this box save and now we have can search on can I use for the query it's enabled if you have to change something you can edit custom search and now let's try can transform and it goes to can I use searches for transform and boom here it is and you can do it right from 
wherever you are on your Mac, let's say you are coding something in Sublime or any other code editor, you know, oh, wow, I'm not sure, can I use this? And just can, da -da -da, ready. And I have some more for MDN, search MDN for, and don't know, header, and it just looks on the developer network. Or I have the web keyword for search web platform um, for header. And you can add whatever you like. It's a sp it's pretty cool and can help help a lot while um, developing and can um, speed up your workflow. That's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave the thumb up if you like that. And um, please leave comments if you have any suggestions um, what you want to see. Okay, thanks. Bye.